Wait till I tell you what happened in that town, right? You, did you see the orc that appeared out of nowhere? Yeah? Listen to me talking to my horse if it understands. Yeah, well, I did that. I hope you're proud of me, horsey. I've done a great many things, actually. I don't know if I've ever told you about any of them. We haven't travelled together that long, so probably not. But um, these robes I'm wearing, found them on a vampire. Yeah. The staff I'm carrying as well, actually. Oh, and the sword I'm using. I'm basically kitted out as um, the vampire that I fought. Stole everything they had. I say stole. I took it as my rightful reward for ridding the world of a vampire scourge. Um, I'm not really interested in tangling with those bandits, though. No matter how proficient I was with the vampires. I mean, then I was exploring an alien ruin. I was pursuing knowledge, not trying to avoid being robbed on the highway. Besides, killing these bandits is not my job. There are people for that. Legionnaires and the like. It's not for me to go around killing bandits. Ugh. Great. Yeah, you just hunt the deer. Leave me to my business. What do you want? Nothing, apparently. That's good. Um, unless you're following me. Which, uh... I wouldn't be surprised at all by. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, right, okay. Accidentally disabled my keyboard for some reason. I don't even know how, actually. I just sort of started working again. <sighs> the sun's setting already. I... Enemies are nearby. Enemies are nearby o'clock. Wasted too much time helping the invisible people. I can't be far now. Right, it's somewhere around here. Lots of deer on the road. That looks promising. A cave down there. And that boar doesn't look quite so promising. Leave me alone, boar. I have no reason to fight you. Don't give me one. Uh, wait here, horse. Oh, please don't attack my horse. Are you going to... Yes, you are. Uh, get off my horse! What the... Yeah, get out of here. For the love of... What is with the wildlife out here? Oh, you son of a... Scared the life out of me. <sighs> anyway. Half a day later than it planned. I have arrived at Wellspring Cave. I should speak with Aletta or Sarasha. Easily done. Hello. Oh. Oh. What? What the? Who it? What on earth is? Why? Why are you attacking me? I 
I get the feeling that you're not actually Mage's Guild. Um. Oh my. Well, this is, uh. This is not what I expected to find. Yeah. Go zombie. Oh wow, there's an awful lot of you. What do you mean don't hurt you? You basically started it. Oh. Ah, no. Okay. Okay, so my headset's fallen off, but also something is obviously going down here that isn't supposed to. Necromancers? What in the name of oblivion? I'm silenced tonight. Okay, that's fine. This is hectic. Um, where are my welcome stones? <gasps> yes! Fire, frost and lightning have flowed from your fingertips. You are now a journeyman of destruction magic and can cast journeyman destruction level spells. Which means whilst I'm being set on fire, I can now use my Elemental Fury spell. Which should, in theory... It's a touch spell! I didn't mean for it to be a touch spell. Are you sure about that? Right, must be careful with the spell. Oh, should have made it a target. Oh, stop, stop casting it before you're right next to him. Come. Come a little closer. Damn it. Now. Now what say you? Hmm? Oh, I'll show you what I've got, all right. Are you dispelling that? <laughs> Do I not have a healing spell equipped to a uh, hotkey? No. 
course not. Uh, probably because healing spells aren't the best way to go. They are. Now. Do any of you have any clues as to what on earth is going on here? Nice mace. Illuminate tome. I'll have that, thank you. Acts of diminishing. Drain luck. What? Okay, so. We're never in too much of a hurry to pick mushrooms, of course. Are there any more of you? Oh. That'll be a trapped chest. Probably best leaving it as it's technically major skill property. You there. I need to hotkey my spell again, don't I? Um, Elemental Fury. I'll have you at number three. Ah. Ugh. Stop it with the zombies. Let's see how you withstand that. Standing perfectly still won't save you. <laughs> For you see, I am something of an expert in my destruction usage now. Doesn't train up my skill very fast. But then again, I suppose it doesn't need to because it does so much damage. And yeah, it burns through my magicka quite a lot. But in theory, every single cast of it is a kill. Because it does so much damage. I mean, what's what's the actual damage total on it? Uh, 60, 60, and then 45. So that's 120, 100 and... Maths is failing me. 165 damage. And how much health do I have? Yeah. Because if it doesn't kill it, it at least weakens it enough for me to finish it off with my uh, trusty sword here. Waterfront needs a key. Uh. Do you have the key? No. I need to find the this other person, don't I? Who I am going to go ahead and guess have been killed along with the other one. What does this lead to? Does this just lead underwater along this ravine here? Oh, did the Khajiit here have the key? Yes, okay, good. Good, 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 good. I need to take more potions because I am going to be... to be up against these necromancers for the duration of this I imagine and what are the odds the necromancers are here when I have to come for my staff well oh god what am I going to tell Ramenus uh, best not to think about that right now Oh wow! Okay. Why are we here? Another play thing? I thought you were going to attack me. You dance for me, little one. Oh, yes, I, maybe I should will. have got you. I will make your corpse dance and then tear itself apart. Rude. Wow. 
Serious slowdown here. Just going to, uh, whilst we're... Oop. Audio. Just bring everything down a little bit. Because... Uh, that should be a bit better. Because I would like to uh, fight with a smoother frame rate, please. Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. Ow. Where did you go? My goodness. These necromancers mess with my frame rate, something stupid. The necromancers that ambushed me have been defeated. I need to get wood for a staff and get back to Raminus Polis to tell him what's happened. Okay, so I'm getting the wood for the staff anyway, it seems. These people obviously are organised. Oh, a letter. I'm sorry. But you don't need your gold anymore. You are the ringleader. With your silver dagger. Um, where did your friend die? Stone chest. Is this where I find the wood? Unfinished staff. I'm just going to close that again. Um, right. So. I need to get back to Raminus, but I don't want to go without my horse. So I'm going to have to go back through the cave and ride back to the city. Ordinarily, I could. Alternatively, sorry, not ordinarily, but stupid brain. Uh, I could skip across the water with my amulet of sea walking and get there that way. No, I don't think I'll leave without my horse. Come, horse, we must make haste back to the Imperial City. What a strange day this turned out to be. A town with invisible inhabitants. And the Mage's Guild controlled Wellspring Cave, overrun by necromancers. I'm going to have to deal with this wolf, aren't I? That was easy. The burned out alchemy shop. Huh. Oh, the Iliad well. I will stop by here and recharge my magicka. What on earth are you doing? Excellent stuff. Yeah, forward. What a nice night again. Be almost perfect for stargazing before for those wisps of clouds. Oh, this bridge seems a lot more narrow on a horse. <laughs> can't decide no I'm not lined up straight am I if I let go if I leave the keyboard alone there I will fall off the edge before I reach the end of the bridge what the 
Oh, no thank you. Very dark trees up there. Cursed bandits. Wild horses. More alien ribbons. You know, whilst I'm studying with the Arcane University, I may take the time to uh, pick through these ruins and see what can be found. Oh, uh, I know I'm in a bit of a rush, but wow, sorry horse, I hope that didn't hurt you too bad actually. You seem okay. Um, yeah, I cannot pass up these ingredients for magic potions, unfortunately. My affliction prevents me from just walking past. What an extraordinary success rate for picking as well. Wait, was that more under the bridge? No. Okay, that's fine. I somehow don't think Ramanus is going to take this news very well from me, considering I'm the guy who had to be readmitted as well. As far as things go, I probably have a very bad reputation with the Major's Guild, actually. Although with a bit of hard work, I can change that. Mustn't forget to go and check out that spire like Teeve asked as well. And oh, a dead bandit. Nice. Oh I think there's a dead bandit that I killed. Huh. <laughs> what on earth? A scamp. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Why is there a scamp here? Must be some sort of conjurer. Can't think of any other reason for it. I, I, I think they're lesser daedra, aren't they? And if they are, then the only reason I can imagine them being here is um, a conjurer of some kind. Whatever was chasing me has given up. Thank the divines. Huh. What a strange noise. I didn't know deers made that noise. Deers? Deer? Deer made that noise? Deers made that noise? I also don't know how to speak England. But if that isn't obvious at this point, then... I don't know what is. I feel like I'm getting deja vu here. Once upon a time I had to go back and forth from the Imperial City quite a lot and I can't remember why. Oh yes I can. I'm trying to get a recommendation from Breville. Caused me to come and go from here quite a lot. annoying but I have to say in the end all worth it for the services that are provided in the Arcane University definitely worth it and it might be even more worth it now because I'm about to well at least I think I'm about to get a major staff either that or I'm about to be expelled again because everybody died in Wellspring Cave and I just know they're gonna make it my fault somehow I wonder if the uh, rude stable man is back. He is. The one who's threatened to eat my horse. Well, 
she was safe here for two days last time. I'm sure she'll be absolutely fine again. But the threat still stands. If you even try and eat my horse, you will feel elemental fury. Are you following me again? Must be considered trespassing this time of night. Never mind. Quickly, we must get to the university. Wait, what time is it? Four o'clock in the morning? I'd do better get a night's sleep, really. Um, right. It's not straight through, is it? So if I go through to Green Emperor Way, and then... Take a right, and it's the second... The second spoke on the wheel. Imperial services. Hail, good citizen. Hello. Uh, I don't require anything right now, Mr. Guardman. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, to the right. That's the temple district. And this is the arboretum, which will take me to... What's this? Oh, a mausoleum. Right, oh, I see, yeah, it's a graveyard. Oh, dear me. How disrespectful of me. Walking on people's graves. In the past, there are people shivering, and it is my fault. And it was my fault. It is my fault. It is my fault now that they were shivering. Oh, time. Blah. Confusing. do with a bit of sleep really but I don't know if this business with Ramanus can wait <sighs> so tired I think I'll get a couple of hours before I break the news to him which sounds very selfish of me, but... Man, am I tired. Hello, apprentice. Hello. Just so you all know, I have better robes than you. Practice rooms, what? Am I in the wrong place? Did I take a wrong turn? That's the watchtower. Excuse me, where's the major's quarters? Well met, guildmate. Yeah, well met. Ah, never mind. There's a lot of people about at this time of day. Although, well, yeah, it's still quite early. Oh. Oh, I see. It's a free-for-all when it comes to getting beds. Well. We'll just see about that. Uh. Oh, Raminus, Raminus. I, I'm sorry to wake you, but it's important. What? Necromancers at the cave? Yes. Yes, necromancers at the cave. Yaletta and Zorasha dead. I can't believe it. They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? I'll need to speak to the council about this. Thank you for relaying the information. 
I'll tend to your staff and your wounds if necessary. Delmar at the Kiranesium can help you with the staff. See him right away. I will do so in the morning. Um, I you shall have a true mage's staff soon. Uh, no beds left. It's ridiculous. Um, right, fine, whatever. Guild storage. Is there another storage chest? Um, because now I need to see. Chest. I'm looking for storage chest specifically because. Wait, I can. Oh, I could open up a deposit safe in the. What's it called? The bank. Oh, good morning, everybody. Hello, guildmate. Greetings, guildmate. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Greeting. Hmm. Yes. You look familiar. Huh. Uh, anyway. Oh, no, that's not what it is I want. I, I, I just gotta have a couple of hours. Well. At least I've had some sleep and now it's raining. But, um. Yeah, hello. Uh, let's see about getting my staff enchanted because as shocking as the news of the Wellspring Cave incident is, it's not really up to me to deal with that. Ah, I have done my part. Can you please stop saying that to me? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Chironasium. Delmar. Welcome to the Chironasium. Can I help you? Yes, you can. I have my major staff, and I am told that you can help me finish it. Ah, yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Yes, why not? Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? Huh. I never really thought about it. Um... I guess destruction would be the most useful. Illusion? What would that be? A staff of light or charm or frenzy? Because the destruction is going to be fire, frost and shock, isn't it? What would mysticism be? A telekinesis? Tell me about the mysticism. There are three things I can enchant the staff with. Soul trap, telekinesis and dispel. Huh. Let's, uh, let, let's go back a step. Oh. Alright then. Choices are destruct. Yes, yes. Uh, tell me about the illusion. Three options for illusion magic. They are charm, paralyze, and silence. Which would you like? A staff of paralysis. A staff of paralysis. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, a staff of paralysis, please. You'll be able to freeze opponents in their tracks for a short time with this staff. I can begin work now, or we can start over. No, the staff of paralysis is what I would like. Right. I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. Did you have to say that in such a creepy way? Uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much, Delmar. 
Oh my goodness, the weather took a turn. How long was I in there? Oh. It wasn't this jumpy before. Anyway. I need to go to the market district. Ah, you must be Yes, yes. To the Bank of Cyrodiil today. I wish to open an account, and also, um, I, I believe you can store valuable items in their deposit safes. And I'm carrying a lot of valuable items, so that sort of thing is quite important at the minute. Anonymous Lex. I'm sure you're important for some reason. Hail, good Hello! How can I be <laughs> Only just noticed me there. Did you? Uh, the watchful eye of the uh, Imperial something or other. Um, this way. Da 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 da. Which way is the market? It's two spokes to the right. Could you imagine giving that out as a direction to someone? Excuse me, do you know the way to town? Yes, it's two spokes to the right. After you go through the second gate. What? Ah well. Another congregation on the stairs. Nice to see that this is still a tradition here. Hello, Mustachio. Greetings. Greetings indeed. Now, if memory serves me, which it obviously does not, <laughs> I thought the bank was this side. Maybe I'll see the other entrance. So much for memory serving me, eh? Have we met? Now, whatever in the world would a decrepit old man do for someone as young as yourself? Um, how old could you be? Heh, <laughs> I remember Uriel Septon when he was just a boy. That's how old, but it's alright. I've led a full life, gone on many adventures, so when the time comes for me to go, I'll be ready. Okay. In the end, death is but a new adventure we must all experience. I was nearly yawned then. That, that if if, I, if you heard a weird sort of noise that I made, I, I I nearly yawned at the end of his second sentence, and then fought it back to read out his last one. So you're welcome for that. Uh, the Bank of Cyrodiil. Stonewall Shields. No, I don't need you at all. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Bank of Zero Deal. How may Dro Hajat help you? It's weird that I can't see your face, but uh, I'd like to open an account, please. If you don't already have an account, please speak to Cornelius in his office upstairs. Oh, sorry, there's that yawn. Uh, I knew it was coming. Never mind. Uh, Cornelius upstairs, yes. I'm, so, I'm very tired, you see. I was up all night fighting necromancers. There's a picture of Uriel Septim up there. Okay. Guess your security. Ah, uh, yes, hello. I don't need an appointment, do I? Welcome to the Bank of Cyrodiil. Cornelius Cisterzio, at your service. Are you here to open an account at our fine institution? Yes, please. I would like to open an account. Opening an account costs a mere 50 gold as one as a one-time fee. What do you say? Yep. Very well. 
Now that you have an account, you can visit any Gold Horse Courier branch outside the Imperial Cities to gain access to your money. Good to know. What can I do for you now? Um, a deposit chest. That's what I would require, really, isn't it? As a special service for our customers, we offer a secure deposit chest in our vault for a one-time fee of 200 gold only. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I'll take it, please. Here is your key. Don't lose it. You find your chest downstairs in the vault. It's uh, one on the small table. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much gold I have, though. Six thousand four hundred and five hundred and thirty. There, there, there. That six five four three. So I would what like to I deposit five thousand gold. How much do you want to pay in? Uh, five thousand, please. A pleasure to serve you. I'm sure it was. Good day. Thank you. Good day to you too. Accounts book. Um. Now, whoa, that was a bit weird. I sort of floated off the stairs again. Welcome to the Bank of Zero Deal. How may Dro Hajat help you? <laughs> yes, you don't have to say that every time. I need to access my deposit chest, please. You wish to access your deposit chest in the vault? Certainly. Dro Hajat will unlock the gate for you now. Okie dokie, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Um... How did you do that without walking over to it? I think you should leave. Oh. Hello there. Welcome to You wish to act. Have a wonderful day. What seems to be the problem? I, I'm just trying to access my chest. Carry on. Thank you. You're just going to follow me while I do this. Um, right. Ah, hello. Hello. I seem to be moving considerably faster um, after that. I've managed to deposit quite a lot of um, garbage. Well, it wasn't garbage at all, actually. It was stuff I want to keep, which is why I deposited it. Uh, but for some reason, the guard wanted me to leave. It was still kind of just trespassing, even though technically I'm allowed to uh, go in there. What? Hello. Why did that just open? Ah! Please don't be any more invisible people. The last thing I need right now is more invisible people. Um, well, it feels good to not be carrying all that stuff around with me now. And knowing that it's kept safe and accessible whenever I should require it. Um, what time is it? I still have a day to kill before my staff's ready. Um... But I feel like it would take me a lot longer than a day to go and explore the spire that Teva's told me to go to. What I think I will do is head back to the university and spend a day reading through the books. Or at least some of them in the research area. Because there are some absolutely fantastic things in there. And a lot of them are very, very, very rare. Two spokes to the left. I came two spokes to the right before, so it should be two spokes to the left. And if I'm wrong, then... I mean, who am I kidding? I'm supposed to have lived here. Was that a modded voice? I'm in a sinner, amateur scholar of the ancient elves, dabbler in the arcane arts. How can I help you? 
Apparently not. Uh, no, uh, nothing. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. That was weird. Hail. Hello. Hello. Very nice place this. Now, I did at one point play with the... Uh, I remembered something I mentioned in an earlier video. Excuse me. It was um, a mod that increased the vegetation size by 200%. I believe we were outside Coral when we were talking about it. Um, now, Hello. this is a place where that particular aspect of that mod um, plays havoc with everything. Uh, the mod is natural environments for anybody interested, uh, but it, because it blows all the vegetation up so much, you cannot see the path or anything here. With everything three times the size, it's ridiculous. At the same time, it looks very overgrown and cool, but my goodness does it hit the frame rate hard. I wonder if there's possibly anything left for me to explore in the university. I highly doubt it, but at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if there was something that I'd missed. I can say one thing for absolute certainty though, my new destruction spell is an absolute winner. My elemental fury. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the gates, that's why everything looks different. The research institute, yes, this is what I'm after. Now, alchemy lab. Archaeological department. I would like to look at the Dwemer section. I feel like that would have the most interest in books. Because as much as aliens are fascinating, there's something mysterious about the Dwemer because I don't know anything of them. Where are the books? Where are all the books? Ah, right, okay. Here they are. And there was some more here, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought I was misremembering or all the books had disappeared from the shelves. I'm pretty sure there was some on the shelf last time I was here, but never mind. Um, Aiden Strongheart and the Nord. Chance is folly. Nchunax, Fire and Faith. I believe this is what I want to read. Is there anywhere to sit in here? Yes, there is. Excellent news indeed. Um, Tunax, Fire and Faith. This book is translated a translated account of Antunak's travels among the various colonies of the Dwemer, explaining the theories of Kagranak. I made inquiry as to the state of enlightenment among the people he spoke for. He answered that with respect to the theories of Kagranak, there was but one scholar near who could guide the people through the maze that leads to true misunderstanding. He informed me, however, that in Keraka, the precepts of Kagranak were taught. Oh yeah, sorry, I lost myself in that sentence there. He said that nothing pleased him more than to see the Dwemer of Karaka, the most learned people in the world, studying Kagranak's words and giving consideration to their place in life to come and where neither plane of division nor the numeration of amnesia 
nor any other thing of utility was more valued than the understanding of the self and its relationship to the heart. I was gracious enough to receive this as a high compliment, and, removing my helm, I thanked him and departed with an infinity of bows. I expected something longer with the book of that title. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll put that back where I found it, I think. Oops. Uh, there. And I will have a look at none of those because they don't seem to have very interesting titles. Antecedents of Dwemer Law. Hmm. Another short one. This book is a historical account of the development of Dwemer law and custom from its roots in high elven culture. In short, so far as I am able to trace the order of development in the customs of the Bosmeri tribes, I believe it to have been in all ways comparable to the growth of the Altmeri law. The earlier liability for slaves and animals was mainly confined to surrender, which is which as in Somerset Isles, later became compensation. And what does this matter for a study of our laws today? So far as concerns as the influence of the Altmeri law upon our own, especially the Altmeri law of master and servant, the evidence of it is to be found in every judgment which has been recorded for the last 500 years. It has been stated already that we still repeat the reasoning of the Altmeri magistrates, empty as it is, to the present day, and I will quickly show how Altmeri custom can be followed into the courts of the Dwemer. In the laws of Kandar Watch, it is said, if one who is owned by another slays one who owns himself, the owner must pay the associates three fine instruments and the body of the one who is owned. There are many other similar citations. And the same principle is extended even to the case of a centurion by which a man is killed. If at the common workbench one is slain by an animunculi, the associates of the slain may disassemble the animunculi and take its parts within 30 days. Huh. Weird. It is, an inst it is instructive to compare what Dark has mentioned concerning the rude beasts of the Tenmar forests. If a marsh cat was killed by an Argonian, his family were in disgrace till they re re yeah, retaliated by killing the Argonian or another like it. But further, if a marsh cat was killed by a fall from a tree, his relatives would take revenge by toppling the tree and shattering its branches and casting them into every part of the forest. How primitive. So if you're slain by a Dwemer contraption, then the family can take the parts of it. What an interesting, uh, oops. Um, Thirsk, a history. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat belts for it is story time. Thirsk A History by Bereditja Stahl. On the eastern bank of Lake Fjalding stands Thirsk, a grand mead hall that serves as the home and centre of operations for a most valiant clan of Nord warriors. Approximately 100 years ago, a small group of Skal decided to leave the main village and free themselves of their brethren's strict adherence to nature worship. They sought to live life as their ancestors had in Skyrim free to kill what they wanted, when they wanted, free to worship in any manner.